Hello everyone, welcome back to theCUBE's live coverage, New York City, I'm John Furrier, host of theCUBE. We are here from mongodbs.local. This is the kickoff, the inaugural, kind of the main event before a 26 city tour. They're taking it to the road, taking it to the streets. That's where the fashion's built, that's where all the developers are, that's where the standards are set, that's where everybody is. It's going to be a great run. Change in strategy for Mongo. Of course, we'll be covering some of them, not all, theCUBE. Our next guest is from Microsoft, Hito Gover, strategic accounts leader at Microsoft, Azure. Um, great to have you on. Hito, thanks for coming on. Thanks for having me, John. Great to get you on. I love Microsoft's content, the success of Azure. Um, let's just say I've kind of been critical of Azure over the years um, because they didn't really have a great cloud at the beginning, but all of a sudden, the, go look back the past eight years, Microsoft absolutely has just been getting better and better putting the heat on Amazon, web services. Just such a great run for AWS. Open sourcing everything. Satya Nitell, I remember Open Compute, big part of that, watch that grow. Great developer team, got all the cloud products, cloudified everything. You guys got a lot of regions. Let's get into the update. What's going on with, with uh, uh, the cloud? Give a quick update on the regions, and then here at MongoDB, what you're doing. For sure, I mean, I, I think Microsoft's strength is around making sure we're available everywhere, right? I mean, our uh, benefit and advantage over many of our you know, competitors, if you will, is we're you know, the most secure cloud, is what we like to say. And so it can only be that if we're available everywhere, if we're representative in every industry, uh, and then really make it accessible to every developer out there. And I think it's one of the things that MongoDB and, and Microsoft have in common, right? Is this developer experience, making sure that they have access to all of this in the most meaningful ways. And it's really nice to see as well that we're further building on that to really see how those integrations can, can take place to make that easier and, and more useful for everyone. Yeah, and, and I've, I've been following a lot of the, the um, great AI conversations around the relationship that Microsoft did with OpenAI, which brought ChatGPT, Bing Search is on the rise. Just the infusion of AI alone has helped on the search side for Amazon, I mean for Microsoft, Azure, but also like on the coding side. Right, you're starting to see that. And MongoDB's got this whole unified experience across clouds, big part of their message I saw on stage. And looking at the notes here on the, on the picture, you guys have a ton of regions, okay? How many locations do you have for data centers? Could you just take a quick? I, I actually, I don't even actually know the exact number because we're constantly uh, it's rolling massive. new out, but we, we are a little everywhere, right? And, and also looking at sovereign clouds, and, and we've got that, uh, narrative down, right? I mean, we know how to do that. Uh, it's there, there's a reason why the DOD works with us, right? And so, I, I think it's another area where we want to make sure that MongoDB in, is taking advantage of that way. We have a bigger reach than, than anyone, right? So, the, the partnership is very natural in that regard. And then, again, as I said earlier, if we can actually also lend, the industry lends to that, you've got availability, you've got industry lens, and the developer experience, it's, it's just a match that is a win-win. I wanted to bring up the regions and, and the notable amount of regions. We can argue later about you know, parsing who's the leader and that, right, right. and why they exist, because Google also has a different construct. Yes. There's pros and cons, but the, the most important thing is, is that you got global presence. Um, uh, the distributed nature of their database system, now their platform, right. is really tailored to what customers want. Yes. One, they want to have availability everywhere. Their failover's really strong. The developer experience that you said is another big hallmark of MongoDB. Can you share what you guys are doing with them and what Microsoft's doing for developer experience because that's making things very easy. Not worry about software supply chain, Docker security in the containers, <laughs> or all the muck around like observability. Right, I, I, I mean we've always been a tools company, right? I mean that's what we are known for for a long time. I mean. Uh, the developer experience, we, we realize that, that if we don't start there, then what is the, how do you get to the final end goal? Like, this is also why startups are so important, and, and if you want to do that, you've got to make it easy. And so you'll see across the board that uh, even the idea of Copilot, you know, from, a, from that perspective, le leveraging open AI and, and generative AI everywhere, on every level, it's not just on the office side of the house, but it's also on the developer yeah. experience. You know, how can you make it easier for, for developers to find the content they need. Like no one wants to look anymore for that little tidbit of information when you can just get that generated and focus on the actual core business. Uh, expanding that to the next level to really have all this integrated 
uh, and then uh, not just from you know generative AI, but also the integrations with other tooling. So you know, I think you've probably heard about um, uh, Azure Fabric and another layer and integrations where it doesn't matter where this data lives. And it's not that dissimilar from what MongoDB is doing. And so MongoDB is integrating with Azure, and we're integrating with MongoDB. And, and you know, again, we hope that you know, the integrations there will help in the security lens of that, hopefully make sure that the, uh, the data lands on Azure, which would be a win-win. You know, let's talk us. about the integration. That's a really good point. Yeah. That's a big part of their announcements here. Yeah. What specifically are you guys doing on the integration front? because you mentioned Fabric, that's one, I can see that. It's a lot of analytic data, they have operational data, but you've got SQL Server, you've got operational data too, so it's a data munging, fusion, yeah. fabric. Yeah, no, like, absolutely. What's like, the integration like about? Data Lake, Synapse, you know, Power BI, like we, we own that story already, uh, but it's the starting point. So every angle, like we're very closely working with MongoDB to be integrated uh, anywhere there is a data exchange, right? Uh, I know you guys working on streams. So, you know, anything that is like Azure Event Hub, right? Like signals, uh, whether that's large data or, or small signals, uh, or whether it's on the, in the main enterprise or on the edge, we tell that story, but we want to make sure that it's an even easier story with all these integrations. And it's so exciting to see, you know, and having the, the privilege, quite honestly, to work with MongoDB to make sure that that all is happening in rapid fashion. And I got to be honest, like MongoDB is, is excelling at, at, at doing this quickly, right? Yeah. Quickly and right. And it sets MongoDB apart from, from other yeah. partners in some ways by, by being so responsive to, yeah. to their developers. And we share those developers. <laughs> so the faster the better, as long as the quality is high and we make sure that that is the case together. You know, I'm old enough to know the uh, history of Microsoft. <laughs> uh, back in the day, college when it all started, um, you look at the progression of just developer concept. Yeah. You know, whether you're in a dorm room or in a hackathon in a garage building a company or starting out just playing around or in a large enterprise or in the boardroom, either way the experience is kind of the same. You got to build something. You got to yeah. write software. Yeah. And you're either writing the software to enable other developers or you're just a developer writing software and you right, have right. all that stuff under the covers handling it for us. So this is like where it's at. So I think Mongo has done an amazing job because they got a great product yeah. from cradle to grave. Yep. Okay, from a developer's cycle. Um, from dorm room to boardroom and from everything in between. And I think the land adopt expand has been their strategy. Now their, I won't say their community, their uses are growing up, but they're getting bigger in functionality and there's more in the unification yeah. of their distributed system. Now that's a whole developer built, yep. bottoms up phenomenon. Yes, for sure. It's only getting bigger and open source is, is powering it. Yeah. Um, you got to be, at Microsoft looking at this going, okay, this is the real deal. No, for sure, and I, I think uh, at the same token, we, we also realize that there's more and more, and so how do developers keep up? Like, as an account director at, at Microsoft, like, trying to keep up with all the technology changes is yeah. difficult, and, and so if it's hard for me, uh, you know, and I'm only a fraction of it, developers have to keep up, and they need easier paths to do that. Yeah. As the capabilities improve, how do you find, you know, that's kind of, uh, how do you access and how do you know actually you know, yeah. what is out there? Um, so when we work together um, and, and make, for instance, through Copilot or other mechanisms, yeah. you know, hey, have you thought about this? <laughs> Allows for yeah. all those capabilities to be recognized much more quickly and then adopted quickly. And, and you'll see, not, on the one hand, we are doing it at the enterprise level, right? I mean, yeah. true, pure, hard coding. And I, I used to be an enterprise architect, so I miss that, <laughs> I miss that at times. Um, Can you imagine being one right now? You'd be like in your glory. Oh yeah, well there you go. That's, but it's so excellent right now. But it's also so much cool to, to do. see. Yeah, for sure. But you also see like they have got hardcore, you know, coding. At the same time, you see you know, power platform and integrations yeah. there for those that aren't hardcore developers. Yeah. You need to match both, and, and MongoDB does the same thing, and, and that's why the alignment is so perfect. Final question. I want to get your thoughts on what Satya Nutella said. But you know, the old Microsoft, when there was when it was different kind of market, was embrace and extend. Right. You know, that was the old Bill Gates, Steve Ballmer model. Um, and there was a different time then, in proprietary yes. versus you had your own platform, Windows. Now I heard Satya Nutella meet say on, on camera that Microsoft wants to meet developers where they are. Yes. And where they are is MongoDB. So that means you're integrating into it and yes. vice versa. 
Describe what that's like at Microsoft for the folks out there watching, this new strategy of meeting developers where they are, sure. they're in MongoDB, there are other places, you're integrating into them and they're integrating into you, yeah. what's the connective tissue? I, I mean, we call it the developer first, right? I mean, make, if you can centralize around a developer, then you know, making sure that all of those items are easily accessible and that's where the OS integrations come in, right? I mean, that's the whole constant story. So everything we're doing is to make sure that the developer, whether that's through Copilot or through Fabric or through the tooling, you know, be able to find the highest available uh, solutions. And MongoDB ranks up high, right? I yeah. mean, when they are looking for a solution around, yeah. you know, uh, what, what all the capabilities that MongoDB brings, we need to make sure that that resonates high and, and we've been working very hard on that. Congratulations, great to see the story and the success of Microsoft and Azure and the overall cloud growth has been phenomenal. Uh, it just gets better every day. Thanks for coming on. Absolutely. Meeting developers where they are and they're in MongoDB. Uh, Hito Govers here, Microsoft's senior account manager, recovering uh, system, uh, solution <laughs> architects. We wish we were 25 again. We'd be <laughs> architecting the next gen Yes, I mean, look indeed. how easy it is yeah. now. No, it's a lot easier <laughs> nowadays. <though. laughs> of course, it's so much easier. We used to code with bare in feet. Our day. In our day, we have bare feet walking in the snow. Yes, indeed. It was so harder. <laughs> Thanks for coming on. Thanks for very much All right, for having me, John. Keep live coverage. We'll be right back with more after this short break. <laughs>